Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News, and uh, right now we're going to do Goose Island India Pale Ale. I've had this one for a little bit. Let's see, bottle on 523.12, so it's a year old. About a year old. So there we go. Let's clean it up, get all the dust off of it, see what we got. Uh, Chicago, Goose Island is from Chicago. And uh, let's check it out. Best served in a thistle glass. Well, I don't have a fucking thistle. <laughs> I don't have a thistle glass. Gooseisland.com. Uh, it's really cool. They put the the, the the bottling dates on. That's nice. Um, where is the ABV? Okay, no ABV. Anyway, 6% ABV minimum, India Pale Ale. So, that's what I can tell you about that. But, nice amount of smoke coming off. And there's no bottle conditioning or anything. This, I don't believe, should be a pretty clean ale. Using my full pint brewing company's glass. Just slug that fucker right in. Oh, should stop swearing. Slug it right in there. See what we got up to the light. No, there actually is a bit of haze. There definitely is a bit of haze going on. It's a little bit more haze than I actually thought. Nice, um, pretty light, pretty light color. Big frothy head, which is nice. Uh, there's a rich, there's a the faint hit of vanilla. Nice caramel malts coming up. It's a bit of, I don't know if it's an earth. It almost smells like you're, it's not bottle, it's not oak age or anything like that, but I'm getting a t touch of vanilla and even a touch of something that's oaky. Either that or that's the barbecue sauce in my hands I'm smelling. <laughs> something like that. It almost smells like a barbecue. Or at least something kind of related to that, like a rub spice or something like that. Pretty interesting. Cheers. Okay. There's actually a nice amount of bitterness going on. I was expecting more of a watery kind of because of the fact that InBev or whatever Bush or Budweiser took it over. But they actually produce a pretty good damn IPA. It has a lovely malt characteristic. A bit of vanilla. This has been aged for a year so it's probably changed a little bit from the fresh bottles. The bitterness is still there. It's on the, It's leaning towards the subtle side. But it's still there. It's still refreshing. nice mixed with the the vanilla and the caramel uh, malt you're getting these dancing um, <coughs> shots of citrus it just kind of boom 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 just now and again boom it kind of kicks up as you wash it around your mouth it's very nice no tail of alcohol whatsoever. Just a nice bittering good quality. It hits you basically about here, the bitter. It doesn't really get you in the throat like some do. This is definitely a session level pale, uh, India Pale by the way they made it. It's very good. It's lasted. It hasn't skunked in a year's time. Funny thing is, I actually I think I might have had another one of these that was younger. But I don't know where it is. It has done did disappeared. But that's alright. Because this one is still lovely. Already, I only got it halfway down. I'm going to give it a rating. I'm going to give this one an 8. 8 out of 10. It's not mind blowing. It's not earth shattering. It's not bad. And it's better than good.
<laughs> so there you go. Eight out of ten. I think they're still doing. It needs to be said that they're still doing a very good job with the excuse me the mass market production of their ales. So so bravo and and uh, good job to uh, whatever mass market corporation took them over. I think it's Budweiser. I think it's Budweiser. So I mean that's pretty good. I mean they're staying true to what the the ales originally tasted like and they're not watering them down to try to get more out of them and they're giving Goose Island and Chicago the chance to go crazy and really make some signature ales some ales that are air barrel aged and have a real unique character and flavor to them so that's very good so all in all 8 out of 10 for Goose Island's India Pale Ale this has been Paul from PA Brew News Cheers.